hi guys welcome and welcome back today we will be making meatballs from scratch so follow these steps you're gonna dice up garlic i love garlic so put the amount that you want depending on the quantity of meat that you're doing but i think this is enough for this amount of ground beef okay so then i put the ground beef some people when they do their their meatballs they put ground beef and then they put uh pork as well to mix in to add flavor but i don't need to do that because my meatballs already have flavor with all the seasoning that i put in so this is just ground beef only okay so i added the peeled garlic and now i'm gonna season it i'm gonna put first now uh, cut up diced onions and peppers okay so i diced them some uh red pepper green pepper onions and i pouring it on the meatballs now i'm gonna season them okay so i put a uh, sazon completo now i am putting pepper paprika chili powder gar garlic you would think it would be salty but it's not gonna be salty so guys i'm not a chef if you are a chef and you don't like what I'm doing, scroll to the next video. Cumin. To add the extra kick. And breadcrumbs. Could be this. If you have no breadcrumbs at all, then you can just grab a potato, peel it, and put sh shed the skin on here. And you can use potato skin. eggs for this amount of meat if it was a smaller amount you would put one egg but i'm gonna put three eggs because i know i'm gonna need three eggs oh. okay and then now you just mix oh wait A little piece of the egg shell is in my finger. Rinse and mix, you mix, you mix. Well, if you feel that it's getting soft, then you're doing a good job. If you feel that it's still a bit hard, keep on mixing it. If after a few it's still hard, then you need to add an additional egg or more breadcrumbs. Okay, so then you also add olive oil. Have someone mix olive oil while you're flipping it. See, it's perfect. It's soft. It smells delicious already and it's not even cooked. Okay, so now I'm heating up on the stovetop butter and then I'm going to start making the balls. Okay, and then you just make the balls as big as you like them. I like them big medium size see like that and then I put it here okay so I made nine meatballs I made them super big and now I put a little bit of vinegar I like to put vinegar on my meat okay and then you're gonna slice up some yellow onions I'm gonna add another another head because I think that's a little bit and then you're gonna slice red peppers. You can do green peppers if you want. I personally like red peppers. Make sure that you flip them because if not, you're gonna burn them. So, um, I believe the cooking time is like 20 minutes. Okay, and now I put some beef broth. Later, and a few minutes later look how golden they are looking for some of you you might think that they're ready but they're not evenly ready so it needs a little bit more time and then i have to add the onions and the pepper okay so i added the onions and peppers now i'm gonna put a little bit more of olive oil sprinkle it dab and let it sit for a bit before we put the tomato paste on there okay so now i put red cooking wine I don't have the measurements because I just eyeball everything. You just know when you know. All right, so now I'm going to add the tomato paste. 
and then let it marinate for a few more minutes and that's it ready to serve but i will show you the outcome when i'm done okay so i already added the tomato paste now i'm just blending it in mexican me mex did i just say mexican <laughs> mexico mix it in baby mix it in mix it in <laughs> Sorry, it's the Chardonnay. <laughs> when I start stumbling on my words, it's not because I'm drinking. It's because I'm tired. I'm tired of talking all day at work. I'm tired of seeing people. Okay, so it's too pasty. So now I'm just going to add a little bit more of beef broth so it could be the sauce could be a little bit loose enough. Okay, more beef stock and I'll just let it evaporate but before I do that I'm going to season it just a little bit more season the salt I mean the sauce oh all right so sazón completo okay now I opened the wrong little hole I need the big hole Garlic. Okay, and now I added sugar because there's tomato sauce. No one wants to get acid reflux over here, so we put sugar. Sugar, sugar. I put like three scoops of sugar, that's it. That should be enough. All right, so now you just mix, mix, mix. Look at the, wait, oh, oops. Okay. Look. Add the onions and the peppers. Yummy. This is 100% good food. This is ready. And then to top it off, I put olive oil. That's it. And wait, parsley. No one got time to be cutting up herbs, so this is what it's gonna be. <laughs> okay, so this is the final outcome meatballs, onions, peppers, and if you cut it, soft and tender. See? well well good good meat all right guys follow me for more recipes like share and subscribe